think it's important to be able to explain the magnitude of this and the complexity. An astonishing sight following an unthinkable tragedy. As the search continues for the victims of the Key Bridge collapse, multiple salvage operations are simultaneously underway to clean up what's left of the iconic bridge. I've done some search and rescue before, but nothing ever on the, the scale of the, of, the, of the bridge collapse. Jeff Peacock has been on the water every day since the disaster. 11 News boarded his debris vessel Thursday to get a closer look at the crucial undertaking. With weather improving, crews will soon work to lift containers that are not damaged off of the Dolly cargo ship. That will give them space to start clearing the bridge debris that right now is embedded into that ship. This close, you can see the mess of crushed containers and steel sticking out of the dolly. Using torches to cut the steel up, several cranes, some of the biggest on the East Coast, are then picking up that twisted steel piece by piece. Thursday, that includes a 350 ton segment, but there is far more work underneath the surface. The wreckage below is far more convoluted and complex. It's collapsed all the way down. You've got wreckage that is mangled and cantilevered sitting on the bottom and deep into the mud line. Multiple channels now clear for vessels working on the salvage operations. Right now, crews are clearing a larger path for ships to once again navigate in and out of the port of Baltimore. At the same time, this is still very much a recovery mission. Six people lost their lives in the disaster. Four construction workers are still missing. Officials say they won't give up until each victim is found and the key bridge is rebuilt. When you get out here and see the, the magnitude of, of the damage and, and what happened, it's just, it's, it's kind of surreal. On the Patapsco River, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.